So um, while I'm down in uh, Raleigh, one of the things I wanted to do is uh, find a church that I uh, can go to for my duration here. So uh, what I decided to do is try like 10 different churches. I figured 10 is roughly, it'll take me to the new year. So if I try like a new church a week-ish until the new year, hopefully I'll find one that I like. Now, oddly, <laughs> the first one I tried last week didn't even exist. So uh, I'm counting this as the first week that I actually did it because at least the church I went to this week actually did exist. Now, um, so the church I went to, I'm just going to talk about my experience more or less there. And um, so the first thing was the uh, band. And uh, they were okay. Like, it's gospel music. It, it's not my cup of tea. But th th for what they're doing, they did fine. But um, <laughs> one of the things that... Uh, they sang about was like, Jesus turned me to wine. And pretty much for the duration of the worship, I was like, hmm. So what would happen if you turned various bodily fluids into wine? So like, okay, if you turned the blood into wine, you'd be done. If you turned um, body, uh, stomach acid into wine, you'd probably die. But if you only did it suddenly, that might actually be processable. It might be painful, but you'd be processable. The one thing I do kind of want to look into is uh, how much saliva do you produce? And if you had like all of your saliva constantly turned into wine, would that like actually have like terrible effects or sense like how much saliva is produced and would if it's distributed over in a long enough time, would that actually affect anything? But um, so, yeah, uh, that, that that was what I was thinking about through most of the worship ceremony. Because like Jesus turned to be turned me to wine is just such a weird lyric that I was like, but um, then you got to the uh, like the actual pastor. Now they had a visiting pastor, but still, um, overall, I think for what uh, for a first like church to go to, it's exactly what I needed. He had like a very good talk on like uh, community and finding which parts of the church you are like most connected to. So we're all brothers and sisters under the Lord, but some parts are going to be closer to others. So yeah. And it was more or less just a, Hey, we are the church type of thing. Like he did have like an interesting etymology of like ecclesiastical, um, what like church means and like how it comes from ecclesiastical, which was like a group of people in, uh, Greek. But, um, yeah, it was a very good first experience. Cause he's like, we are all part of the body, but some parts are going to be closer to others. And for this first church, I don't think I'm like, it was good enough where I might come back, but, um, I didn't, I, it did give me what I think I need to do for a church. So the entire time, more or less, I was just in my NT land. So like as an ENTJ, I was pretty much TEing and NIing everything. And I didn't really access my FI like at all, like for the entire duration. The only part where I did kind of access, like, my motive side was towards the end. Um, like, at the end, I did talk to one of the uh, ladies who was sitting next to me. Um, Connie, she was, like, seemed like a very sweet old lady. And that's the closest I got. But um, overall, like, it, for a first um, try, it is kind of what I needed. But, like... I mean, I got nine other churches to go to, so I'll give this the baseline of uh, three out of five stars, and uh, we'll see where the uh, other like handful of churches go. Hopefully by the new year, I'll find a place where uh, I think I should go back to. Um, oh, I will say this. Um, the Connie lady I was talking about, apparently her husband's sick, and uh, like she's also a little sick as well, so like if you could pray for her, I'd like... Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm still getting used to how that works, but um, um, overall, it's what I needed for a first trip out, but um, it, it was good. It was good. <laughs>